we got a big week against the Baltimore Ravens right now, who are six and one. We're one game above 500. Let's see if we can keep it moving. You know what? Watching you grow throughout this season, that's been a lot of fun. And our team is much better for it. Thank you, coach. The staff has seen you taking notes, making adjustments, and we haven't had to worry about any mental errors or missed assignments on game day. It's all in that preparation. In here, in the weight room, on that practice field, it's all about that grind. You're not wrong. But listen, the pressure is on now. You've given us a great half of the season, but I need you to see you pick it up the rest of the way. This level of commitment is not only on the field, but off the field. And you've set a high bar. I appreciate that, coach. I know your best football is still ahead of you, but I need you to raise that bar even higher like I know you can. 1% better every day, coach. Let's get it. A crazy news for us before we even start this game. Lamar Jackson has a ruptured disc. He's out for six weeks. This is an easy game. I mean, let's not hit in the backup too much. Huntley's actually a pretty good quarterback, and he's done really well in the times that he's played for Lamar in real life, so this is still going to be a tough one. We've also made a switch to all Madden difficulty, so things are going to continue to be spicy. Big play here, third down and three. What are the Ravens going to do? Oh, they're challenging us. Oh, my. Okay, so they're not just going to go for it. They're going to go big and get a touchdown. All right, let me remind myself that we're playing on all Madden difficulty right now, so things are going to be not as easy as they were before. But we'll still see what we can do. Oh, my God, he's still one. I got a chance. <gasps> On all Madden difficulty. Let's go. It's about time. Hey, that was crazy. Obviously, he threw that one in a way that he didn't want to throw it. He's getting a lot of pressure and just sort of had to panic a little bit. But we're now one interception away from our season goal right now. And look, that just goes to show. Sometimes you get burnt. Sometimes not so much. Little handoff here to Dobbins. Dobbins got plenty of room here. He gets the first. Oh, they actually say he didn't get the first down. So we imagine them running here. We're still going to press cover. Kind of got torched a little bit. Oh, he goes for the option play and he goes nowhere. What a big sack. So apparently our guys literally turned the ball over immediately. And then, well, here we are back on defense. You've got to be kidding me. Hartley's going to keep down. He's going in the middle of the field. Oh my God. How did he not fumble? Hey, look, say what you will, but I'm starting to come into my own. Our offense obviously doesn't know what the heck they're doing, but me, I'm playing all right right now. Huntley throws a little pass across the middle. It's complete for about five. Look, I'm just playing to make sure I can do what my team needs me to right now. Oh, the throw one. Our guy got burned. I think that's overthrown, though. All right, they got me playing a little bit of a low coverage, more so on the flats here. Third and five. Just lock up. The only thing big, they throw a dot across the middle. We keep him out of the end zone. Okay, it's the first, but it's not a touchdown yet. Baltimore does end up scoring, but we also get a touchdown, so could be worse. We're only down seven at this point. They have the ball back with five minutes left. Little fake handoff. Huntley out here moving, but he gets picked up quick. Hey, look, we're going to send a blitz. I'm in a little bit of man defense. Bro, Huntley's keeping it again. Oh, my God. This dude's killing us. Who needs Lamar when you got Tyler Huntley? Bro, I don't know if Lamar Jackson got a contract extension in this universe or not, but... Bro. Oh, my God. This man's a beast. Is he better than Lamar? I mean, earlier, I definitely lit that man up. But right there, I tried to hit stick him. He was not having I should just go for a short tackle each time. Oh, my God. He's keeping it again. It's like the third or fourth time in a row. All right, let's keep this man in check. We got a little bit of a QB contain going. See if that helps at all. He goes with the RPO. The QB contain ain't working. That man's still getting yards. Big third down and two. He goes a little play action. He's got a chance here. He's going to get hit. What a big sack. About time. Baltimore does get a field. Remember, they're six and one in the season. This injury to Lamar just happened recently. And oh, he fumbled. Huntley's going to fumble. That one is. Does it get picked up? It does, but Baltimore holds on to it at the two-yard line. I mean, you got to imagine they're running here. Huntley goes under center. They're trying to waste a little bit of clock from the two-yard line. We got a blitz coming in. They're looking to fill a gap. We do two, though, and they get it to the three. No idea what they're going to do, but Huntley's got a whole lot of people in the backfield with him this time. Taking the play clock down as long as they can. They hand this one off. Dobbins goes up. He goes nowhere. We're calling a timeout with eight seconds left. Normally, I would call a pump block here, but every time we do, there ends up being a rough in the kicker penalty, so we're not going to do that. This one is going to get off pretty easily. They're going to kick this one deep. Our guy's going to probably... You better call a fair catch. He didn't call a fair catch. You're crazy. One second left. Offense, do something. Obviously, Huntley, Huntley played incredible in that first half, and they're dominating. Our offense really hasn't done much outside of one good drive. Let's we'll see what we can do here. They throw a little comeback route, a little curl route, and that was going to be good for 11. And honestly, as much as they've run, I don't know when they're going to pass at this point. Sometimes they bait us, sometimes they don't. Huntley feels the pressure, dumps one off, and that one's going to be incomplete. I got to admit, though, I like a lot more how this mode is playing on All Madden than I definitely did on All Pro. I feel like All Pro wasn't really working that well, but All Madden feels good. Big moment here. Can we finally get a stop, get the offense good field position, do something right now? Watching what they got coming out of the backfield. 
Huntley again all day. Literally sends somebody. He slides, but it's not going to be enough. Fourth and seven. Look, I'm tired of not returning punts. This is my moment. Where's the punt? No one knows. Okay, I was way too far in the backfield. I was just trying to get one. Oh, my God. The offense did it. We've got a three-point deficit right now. Get a stop here. Maybe the offense does something like they really done so far this game to score some touchdowns. Huntley is on the move again. Stop this man. Every time Tyler Huntley runs, he goes for 10 yards. This man's got 100 yards on 10 carries. Today. It's wild. We'll hand off here. Dobbins is up the middle. He's going to pick up five or six. Dobbins literally has like 11 yards on five carries. Huntley, a whole lot more. Oh, no, I got baited a little bit. No, that wasn't my man all the way. I mean, it wasn't my man. Mark Andrews playing out of his mind right now. What a grab. How, do, how did he hold on to that? Who knows? This pass again. This time goes on Mark Andrews, and he goes nowhere. Ooh, big second down. I'm honestly just scared of Huntley running every time, so I'm getting caught looking in the backfield way too much. Oh, throw it deep. Throw it deep. <laughs> this man's running. Stop him. All right, we get to play shallow coverage again, playing underneath. He's throwing. He throws the check down. It's going to dive in. Someone be there. It's always too late. Come on. 18 seconds left here in the first. Oh, my God. How did Devin White miss that? Come on. Make this man fumble. He's carried the ball so many times. Huntley is carrying this Baltimore team right now. We still have all the momentum, but honestly, we're losing track of it every single play. This one hands off to Dobbins. He's got plenty of room. And he goes in the end zone completely, almost untouched. Baltimore is keeping that lead going. All right, look, the offense got points on the board, but it's not enough. A field goal is not going to cut it in games like this. You have got to get real points, touchdowns on the board because Baltimore is running it down our throats. We're actually the number one ranked rushing defense in the league, but we're giving up 144 rushing yards so far in today's game. And honestly, the way they're moving, there's going to be a whole lot more coming. Press cover, bring a blitz, and just hope that we can do something here. Ooh, a little audible here. Huntley sees something that he doesn't like. Four minutes left in this ball game. They throw one. Oh my God, we picked it off. Let's go. Let's go. What a stop. Hey, this is huge. The pressure's on. 313 left. Tie ball game. The offense did their job. Now it's up to us to keep doing what we do best. And that is hopefully stopping this run game, which as long as it's not Huntley, we've been good. Second and nine. Huntley's going to keep this one. Oh, we got guys everywhere, but they called a flag in the play. I'm hoping that it's holding or something that's not on us. Let's see what they say. Hold on. Big W. Absolutely a big W. We're going to take the second and 19. Making it third and 11 was also intriguing, but I think, honestly, more yards is probably better for us here and potentially better field position if we can get a stop. Going underneath. Andrews again. He's out of bounds. Okay, this is huge. We're dropping. We're, no, no, no. We're dropping our guys back a little bit. Give them some cushion. Just don't let them get the first down. Oh, my God. We got a hole. He fumbled. Pick it up. We did. Look at the defense, big fella. We see you. We got the ball inside the 15. As good as our defense has been, Baltimore's defense has just been just as good. They only gave up a field goal, so with two minutes left, Baltimore has the ball back. And they're trying to make some big plays. Huntley's out here scrambling. We're looking to see if we can get a stop, but he slides again. He's so smart. Second and three, minute 30 on the clock. Watch for the deep stuff. He goes deep. This one's going to be, I think, actually caught. He's breaking tackles. No shot. He's going to be going all the way into the end zone. Offense is on you. Mark Andrews just went to the house. To make matters worse, Baltimore ended up stopping us. They have the ball now on the 25 yard line. They're obviously just going to pretty much run this ball out as much as they can. The best case scenario we have right now is getting a stop. Now let them get in the first down, calling these timeouts, forcing a field goal, then going to the field and getting a touchdown, which also seems really difficult. And Dobbins pretty much just sealed this game right there. Man, we had our chance, but Baltimore's going to come out here with the W. They played so well, not even having Lamar Jackson. Tyler Huntley, if it's not for Baltimore, somebody's going to pay this dude in the offseason because that dude. He torches. Baltimore is seven and one. We fall back to 500. Oh, hey, I'm glad I ran into you. I know you got a lot going on today, but I want to talk to you really quick. Yeah, what's up, Andy? Look, by just about any individual measure, this season has been an amazing success for you. We brought you in, we asked you to prove it, and you have proven that you can be a star. The fans love you, the entire organization loves what you're doing on the field. It's been great. Nah, I'm happy to hear it. I'm glad everyone's seen the work I've been putting in. Seriously, you keep this up, and there's no reason why you can't be a franchise cornerstone for years to come. I hope when you're signing another deal in the offseason, you'll be making this your home long term. I can't even begin to explain how much that means to me. I mean, from day one when I came in here, I was welcomed and given an opportunity to shine like never before. And look, you made the most of it. You keep it up, all right? That's what I do. 
last week was heartbreaking like the fact that we lost that game against the Ravens was tough and I hate to see that happen but at the end of the day we got to do what we got to do and I'm gonna come out here and do my best to help lead this team to a victory the good news though is that this same Rams team that won the Super Bowl not too long ago is sitting here in one and six in the season they have not been good Stafford has absolutely been pretty paltry this year so I think our chances are good this is also more of a pass happy team so it gives us an opportunity to maybe do something actually for once well second and six Ooh, nice comeback route. Oh my God, what a dot there to Cooper Cup, who's just killing our defense. Look, despite the Rams being one of six in the year, Cooper Cup is actually still number two in the NFL for receiving yards. So he's having a really good year still. And look, this whole receiving core has been good. It's just their defense is trash at the moment. In second and three, they go to the run game. They go right up the middle and look, they find the room for the first. Oh no, they don't. Oh, we're massive on Cooper Cup. Let him try something one time. Let him try something. Oh God, don't try anything. I'm scared. They're running the football. I didn't even realize that I was so locked up. Ooh, one-on-one -on -one against Cooper Cup again. See if you can press him. Nope, absolutely not. It doesn't matter. They threw a dot to Higby and the Rams are up. Defensively, we're honestly kind of trashed that first drive. We got to do a little bit better here. The second quarter kicks off, though, and at least we know that the offense did their job. Oh, my God. Cup again torching everybody. They should have been letting me cover him. <laughs> Let me cover him. Oh, no. Akeem Hicks is hurt. No. Man, this ain't good. Cup is absolutely torching us right now. He's not my man, but he's still torching us. I'm there, though. Stafford's still a perfect eight for eight, nearly 100 yards in the afternoon. do something huh first name Matthew last name trash our offense is out here playing terrible man look at your boy getting that interception my sixth one of the year hitting my season goal look they told me in the tunnel before the game you saw the footage they were telling me you were coming out here being one of the best players in our organization and then I'm out here getting torched make the tackle <clears throat> no one saw that okay yeah, I gave up a fly round. Yeah, I gave up a touchdown. It's fine, okay? I got an interception earlier. Everything's okay. Okay, he checked down. He's afraid. Cooper Cup, come my way. All that matters, though, is the game's tied. The interception I got earlier was great, but I can't hang my hat on it because I did it, and look what obviously happened to me. Literally nothing good came from that. And the Rams were driving. They got Cup in motion. Little fake wide receiver reverse. They go with a halfback dive out to the right-hand or the left-hand side. That one goes nowhere, though. Two minute warnings almost here. Another little fake. Oh, I can't quite get there. I didn't want to do that. Oh, no. If I just went for the tackle, we would have been fine. Man, too many warnings here. The Rams mean business. I'm trying. They go to Higby underneath. We can't get any tackles anywhere, but we do stop them by the yard short. Matthew Stafford's only incomplete pass today was the interception he threw to me. Everything else has been absolutely on the money, and he's still killing it with two touchdowns. Our goal right here, though, is just to keep them from getting in the end zone. They go with a little quick dump route, and that one goes nowhere for Akers. Minute one left. Rams on the seven. They go to the out route. That's my responsibility. I got it. Actually, that's not my responsibility. Actually, I was playing the blue route deep. That's someone else's responsibility. How dare they mess that up? Hey, look, usually I'm here to be upset and be frustrated with the offense, but they actually scored with not a lot of time left. This is crazy. We've got them with the ball back with one timeout of 16 seconds. Look at us. At this point, I got to imagine they're probably going deep on pretty much everything. So we're going to just be covering and watching and see what we find. They go with the actually little dump off route to Higby. Higby again is going to get himself down, but again, not many yards. I mean, right now, eight seconds left, no timeouts. They got to be what we call chuck it mode. They actually go for a quick route. I don't understand why you got no timeouts. They're going to get nothing off of that. So we're going to go into halftime, 21-21. I got my interception. Really the only incomplete pass staff for throwing all game, but we need more. The offense has some stuff going, but it just muddled out and became essentially nothing. So they got the ball right back. Looking for something. Stafford dumps off here to Cam Akers, who's been getting a lot of targets today. Breaks huge ankles on that one. It goes for about nothing. Well, second down, shotgun action. They go right back to Akers. This time he's going with the run. He's a big gain. This one is first down and plenty more. Throws him out to the side. There's another guy to the side. That was Devin White. He brushed aside. Four minutes and some change. Stafford looks underneath. We're right there, though. It's Akers. We're going to try to tackle him. We get a fumble force from somebody else. Let's go. We pick it up. Run. Go down the sideline. He's got a chance. He's going to go all the way completely untouched. I held him up. They stripped it. And we got a touchdown because of it. I got to be honest. It feels weird to actually have a lead and be playing with the hero on defense. But here we are. Shotgun again for the Rams. Underneath, they go to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup again, racking up the catches today. We'll cover two action here on Cooper. Stafford's under center, though. Feels like a run. It's probably happening here. They end up going with a little stretch play. That goes nowhere, though. Another good stop. This is big. Stafford under center again. And yeah, easily it's the first down. Unreal. Nobody in the backfield but Stafford. Oh my God, he goes deep. What? Are you kidding me? What in the exorcist just happened? That dude turned around mid-route and got that? Okay, worst thing that could happen right now, Cooper Cup has his X-Factor. So 
I'm beyond scared. They go with another run here to Cam Akers. It goes nowhere. If we can just not let them get points on board or just hold them to a field goal, that would honestly be good too. But we just got to make sure we stop. Wait, Cooper Cup's in the backfield? What the heck is happening? Oh my God, a little slant route. Absolutely got my ankles torched. Matthew Stafford is still 24 of 25 in the game. 300 plus yards. His only incomplete pass again was the interception he threw to me, but it don't matter right now. They are a well-oiled machine. Oh God, we got to guard Cooper Cup. I'm going to hope they run here. Oh my God, they did run. I was so confused. I was just like, let me guard Cooper Cup. Okay, this is crazy. The offense is absolutely killing it. 35 points offense. I see you, Tom Brady. This dude finally turned it around. It might be 57 years old, but he's out here killing it. Little check down. There is a, fl a flag on the play. I'm going to hope that they end up calling holding because we got a seven point lead and I need them to have as few yards as possible. Music to my ears. Music to my ears. Yeah, we accepting that. Rams in hostile territory. Bucks fans seem to be mostly sitting down, which feels weird to me because we have an opportunity to come out here and win a game. <gasps> Why are you sitting down? Stand up. Also, that was the first incomplete pass you've seen from Matthew Stafford since I picked him off earlier in the game, like first quarter. So what is happening right now? Oh my God, that wasn't my man. We were in zone. What a hit though. All right, they got me in the slot. Playing little man defense here. Oh, they're passing. I thought they were trolling. Cooper Cup open across the middle. What's new? Literally what's new? Look, I'm doing everything I can right now, but Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford cannot be stopped. Everyone else, not so much. I gave up a touchdown earlier, but it is what it is. Oh my God, Cooper Cup. Stop holding me. <laughs> Why are you holding me? Why? Things aren't trending well, but we can turn things around right here. Lock up a little bit. Oh my God. Everybody's open. Defense, would you like to cover anyone? We know they're passing. That's all they want to do right now. <laughs> Just cover. Okay. Oh my God. This one's going up on a Tuesday and it's out of bounds. Breaking news Matthew Stafford is now throwing. Not one, not two, but three incomplete passes in all mad and difficulty. Here we are. Look at us. Who would have thought? Oh my God. <laughs> Why? The only good news we have is that we should have the ball back with crazy time left considering they're going to score a touchdown pretty quickly you can just sort of feel it right now underneath again again oh my god they're going with the hurry up oh this doesn't feel good i don't feel good about this mr stark of course it's cooper cup tie ball game tom brady work your magic okay we're running out of time what did our defense or what did our offense do you might ask literally nothing rams have the ball back field goal wins it for him they dump off here to Cam Akers. No one shocked by that. He gets almost a first again. Everything we've done today has just been carved out, man. This team is one in six, and they got us in a chokehold right now. <laughs> We're about to be below 500. Are you kidding me? Anyone? I mean, they're pretty much a couple of yards away from field goal range. Cooper Cup's got 11 grabs, 169 yards. Imagine. Oh, my God. Cam Akers just put him in field goal range. Please. <laughs> Someone force a turnover. No. Okay, interesting. Call a timeout, Jesus. Oh, wait, the Rams actually called a timeout. Okay, that's not bad. I'm there for the tackle. Let's go. Oh, we're on Cooper Cup again. I'm actually going to play the pass here, which is probably not the move, but we're going to try to play the pass. Oh, my God, immediate. Let's go. Okay, third and 12. I think they're honestly going to run it again and try to make us use their last timeout, which we obviously have to do. They actually win with the run. Okay, they go down the middle. This is not a gimme field goal by any stretch. This is not a gimme. Well, the Rams are the field goal. We obviously don't do anything with it on offense. We had a chance to beat the one in six Rams. Did we? Absolutely not. Look, I played my part. I got some picks. I was making some plays. I was doing what I could. But Cooper Cup was towards anybody and everybody, except for me. Yeah, I gave up a touchdown. Well, that's besides the point. Anyways, we'll keep it moving. We're a game below 500 now. Tom Brady better do something, because if he don't, I'm skedaddling in the offseason. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love him. Catch you guys in the next one.